Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is valid palindrome. In this question, we're given a string which contains different types of characters, letters, spaces, special characters, and also digits. So a face is considered palindrome if after converting all the uppercase letters into lowercase letters and removing all the non-alphanumeric characters. So the characters which are not letters or digits should be removed and if it reads the same from left to right and also from right to left then that string is called a palindrome string so we return true as the output else we'll return false as the output we are given a function where boolean is the return type so we return true or false as the answer and the parameter is a string s so we need to convert the input string into a string which contains only letters or digits and then we need to check if that converted string is palindrome or not for that we are going to iterate through the input string from left to right and we are going to check each character if it is a letter or a digit if it is a letter or a digit we will append that string into a string builder the next step is to convert the string builder into a string using the two string method so this string will contain the converted string now that converted string should be converted into lowercase letters and that lowercase letter string should be checked if that string is a palindrome or not. First let's write the code then we'll try run with an example. As I've said let us start off by creating a string builder which will contain the converted string. I'm going to name it as B. Now let's iterate through the string S from left to right so that we can access each character. Now let's access each character in the string S at the ith index position so char ch is equal to s dot char at of i now we need to check if this character is a letter or a digit if it is a letter or a digit we'll push it into the string builder if character dot is letter of ch so if ch is a letter or a digit we'll append it into the string builder sp Now this for loop will check for all the characters in the string and the valid characters will be pushed into the string builder sp. The valid characters are the character should either be a letter or a digit. Now that we have the string builder, let us convert it into a string. I'm going to name it result and convert the string builder into a string using the two string method. Now let's convert this result into lowercase letters. Now, now that we have the converted string in lowercase format, we need to check if that string is palindrome or not. For that, let us write a helper function. So this helper function will be of the return type boolean. So it will return true or false if a string is palindrome or not. I'm going to name it check palindrome. And pass the input string s as its parameter. Now to check if a string is a palindrome or not, I'm going to take two pointers. The first pointer will point at the zeroth index position, that is at the start of the string, and the second pointer will point at the end of the string, that is s dot length minus one, because index position start from zero, so the last index position will be present at s dot length minus one. Point left equal to zero, and right is equal to is dot length minus one. Now we'll open a while loop where left is always less than right. Whenever this condition fails, we'll break the loop and come out of it. Now inside this loop, we are going to check if the character at the index position left is not equal to the character at the index position right. If both the characters at the start and end of the string are not equal, we can return false. So if s dot char hat of left not equal to s dot char hat of right we can return false if they are equal we can increment the left pointer with one and decrement the right pointer with one in the next iteration it will check for these two index positions so this while loop will check for all the characters present in the string. If the while loop passes and this statement is not executed, we can return true as the answer. So it means that that string is a palindrome string. Now let's use this helper function check palindrome inside the main function to check if this result is palindrome or not. If check palindrome of result. So if this is true, we can return true as the answer. 
if this is false we can return false as the answer now let's try to run the code there you have it we're getting the expected output let's submit the code there you have it our solution has been accepted now let's take this example race a car so when you iterate to the strings from left to right you encounter two spaces and rest of the characters are letters so the string builder will contain the string so this is what the string builder will contain you convert the string builder into a string and now you convert the string into lowercase letters it is already been converted into lowercase again now we are going to check if this string is palindrome or not we will start from left is equal to 0 and right is pointing here yes both are same so you increment left left is pointing here right is pointing here yes both are same left is pointing here right is pointing here yes both are same left is pointing here right is pointing here no both are not same so you directly return false so this string will return false here so if this is false it won't go inside this if statement and you'll return false as the answer so false is the output i hope you understood the question the same logic will apply for this string it won't take the special characters comma and colon and the spaces and it will make the string into this after converting into lowercase this string is a palindrome string by following this logic so you return true as the answer that's it guys that's the end of the program thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one when I talk, yo, I need all the fuck.